So you guys met with Xi of very long portfolio, which is basically Yeo Bin, who's in charge of like energy and, and climate change. But the specific thing, thing you were talking about was power generation. And the title of this week is just power shakeup. So what kind of power shakeup are we talking about that, that in her mind that you know she wants to achieve for her portfolio? She does talk a lot about um, more competition in the industry. So um, not only on power generation, but also distribution and gen uh, transmission per se, okay. right? So when it talks about the shakeup, it means that we know that the generation part has already competitors per se, you know, the IPPs and stuff. But she also talked about, well, there's a, it's, it's a very huge subject. So she talks about renewable energy. So renewable energy and this all this revolves around um, three Ds that she mentioned, which is uh, decentralization decarbonization and also digitalization so all right. those all these things have to come together in order for for the whole industry to be to be more efficient and also bring in more competition per sale okay yeah. she actually talked about a smart grid because she said our grid not saying our grid is dumb but it's like <laughs> our grid is well, when you say smart grid, our grid is standard, right? Yes, it's yes, just yes. it's just a very simple way of doing it. So, but she did talk about implementing a smart grid. Is that going to be soon? Yeah, um, that's not going to be soon. But the the matter of fact is, it's not something that she brought up per se. I mean, it's been talked about for a long time already. So, smart grid um, helps to help to have the system more efficient per se. So, for example, Malaysia's reserve margin is about thirty two percent. That's mm. rather high. So, with smart grid, you can actually reduce it to you know um, what she mentioned is about 20% yeah and this also means that um, you can have a, a lesser dependency on um, the base load per se uh, base load meaning the some uh, the generation that is constant so, so what always runs no matter yeah. if nobody even puts on a light yes yes so um, renewable energy is intermittent right so like the sun doesn't shine all the time so when you have better management of this energy from, from the pro production, from the generation to the blast mile, mm. so this smart grid will help that in that sense. Uh. But what she said is that we don't need it at, at the moment. Right? What she said is that uh, as we grow the renewable energy capacity to a certain level, then only we will require the smart grid to be, to be fully implemented. Let's say. Well, you cannot talk about any kind of shake-up without talking about TNB, right? Because TNB still remains you know, the biggest chess piece mm, in, in this mm. game. Yes. And okay, so TNB, like you mentioned, so the, the main three uh, pillars of TNB are their transmission, their distribution, and of course generation. So generation's been opened up to like all the IPPs, so mm. everybody competes. Mm. Mm -hmm. But Tanaga has been famously very, very secretive about transmission and distribution in the fact that if you look in their financial results, they don't split them up. Yes, they, yes, they cover they them all in, in, in sort of like the one blanket, right? Because they say they all come under power generation. And the main uh, sort of like argument point that IPPs have always said is that when you do that, you can hide things, right? You can hide losses from one to another when you're all under one umbrella. So when you talk to her about breaking up or shaking up the industry, did the breakup of Tanaga, which has been talked about for a long time, <laughs> let's be honest, did that ever come up? Yes, um, we did ask her that question. What she said is that she doesn't want to jump the gun. Mm. There will be announcements coming up um, next year from the Ministry and from TNB itself. She did say that the market efficiency, she talked about more competition, she didn't discount transmission and also distribution. Mm. So, you know, we can expect that there will be some changes in that sense. And I also want to mention one thing about, you know, the, um, competitions between IPPs and the TNB, for example, in the generation part. Um, what she said is that it's not going to be just them. She said about empowering the consumers. Yeah. So the starting point is that, you know, you're going to bring in the consumers to generate the electricity and then at the same time, more players might, it's anybody's guess, but more players might come in in the transmission and distribution part. Uh, there's one part in the story where the analyst said that, you know, Malakoff has uh, exclusive rights to distribute energy in a certain area in KL Central. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, if, if that can be done, you know, there's, there's it's no... It's not a fast stretch. It's not, yeah, it's not, it's not impossible to say that, you know, more, pl um, more players will come in or the segments will be more opened up. But yeah, and, and another thing is that, um, you know, Tanaga is a big, big GLC, so they have footprints uh, elsewhere in other parts of the world. If the segment is open, it's, it's less stress for them to worry about the business here, per se, yeah, and, yeah. and, and th these two segments. Um, 
um, they can actually have more time and space to to expand the, um, to the other countries, and uh, that's what they have been talking about. Talking for about, so long. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they've been wanting yeah. to do that for like so long. Yes. So it's a good thing that they that you know you lighten some of the burden back home and you manage to sort of go out but of course mm. the one main feature is if you want to open it to everything she has made it very clear no direct nego yeah, anymore yeah she did mention well um, the announcement for the cancellation of four direct negotiated IPPs it uh, sent a very strong message didn't it yeah uh, well it sent a message mm. um, there were some delays in the announcement when we asked if more IPPs uh, more direct negotiated IPPs would be cancelled uh, she was rather tight lipped I, I guess it's an industry where it's not just the technical parts that she should be, um, she should have uh, the knowledge of, but also the political will and the and the and the, and the maneuverability. Yeah. So and yeah, that you don't learn in textbooks. Yes. Yes. So um, let's give her some time.